Hi, Andrew here. How about an armor test today? Let's test Fort Scott's 62 grain solid brass brass hog against Premier's level three steel plate. Now, a lot of folks have speculated that the 62 grain solid brass pointy thingy from Fort Scott has the ability to get through some steel armor because it's solid brass, harder, harder than lead core ammunition and even harder than solid copper ammunition. And it's super pointy. So maybe that'll help it get through the armor. And yes, Premier, yeah, they're the same guys that lied about their armor being able to stop M193, but they have since retracted that claim. And now they're just making regular level three armor with, um, so far as I've seen the last time, relatively accurate claims behind it. Let's get out to the range and shoot Premier level three steel armor with Fort Scott 62 grain brass hog from a 16 inch barrel and see what happens. All right, I have to admit that I'm not all that surprised by this result. Velocity is the key to getting through steel armor. Yes, projectile shape and construction plays a role, but with steel armor, velocity is the primary factor, and to get through it, you usually need to see at least a minimum of around 3,100 feet per second. Anything less than that is un unlikely to get through, and a solid brass projectile has a longer bearing surface, which makes it difficult to push it at that speed, and we didn't see anything close to 3,100 feet per second out of this. That's why I was pretty sure it wasn't going to get through, but I've been surprised in the past. That pointy shape to it had me wondering. But that invites the question, what is this Fort Scott stuff good for? Uh, is it possible that it could get through ultra high molecular weight polyethylene armor? Um, I could take a shot at some PE armor if you're interested. If you want to see that, leave a comment below. Um, bear in mind, though, that M855 normally gets through PE armor. So maybe that's a useful test and maybe it's not. If it does get through polyethylene armor, what does that even tell us? Does that mean that this ammunition is particularly good for anything if that's the case? Well, I don't think so. Uh, like I said, M855 gets through polyethylene armor, and M855 at least usually fragments at relatively close range with a long enough barrel and all that. Um, even out of a 10 and a half inch barrel right at contact distance or close to it, M855 usually fragments. Fort Scott doesn't do that. So I'm still struggling to find something that this ammunition is good for, but I've been wrong before. Maybe I'm missing something if I am leave a comment below and tell me what I'm missing. If you'd like to rent a high-speed camera like the Phantom that I used to create this video, get in touch with Aimed Research. Their contact information is in the description below. As always, have a great day.